Welcome to MarketTamer.com and today we'll discuss the second aspect of what we call the psychology of trading and we'll incorporate some research which indicates that individuals evaluate gains and losses in qualitatively different ways. In short, we're not quite as rational as we might think we are. For example, consider a situation where you've acquired a lot of wealth and you're trying to figure out what should you do with the capital you have under management. Should you assign it to bonds? Should you assign it to the stock market? Should you incorporate stocks and options in conjunction with each other? What should you do? Well, it turns out most people are risk averse when confronting potential gains. That is, they prefer a certain gain over a risky outcome. And for most unsophisticated investors, they choose bonds. In fact, the reason they choose them is often based on the advice of a financial advisor who states that there will be fixed income. Of course, we've discussed in the past how that fixed income does not account for purchasing power. Nonetheless, it tends to be the area that attracts risk-averse uh, investors who have acquired some wealth. Obviously, we've talked about this in class that there are ways in the stock market to mitigate risk and still produce some very handsome returns. But we won't go into those strategies today. Instead, we'll stick with the psychology aspect of this. And now we'll consider something separate. Consider a situation where somebody has lost a lot of wealth. Well, in this case, it turns out that people tend to be risk-seeking when dealing with potential losses. That is, they prefer a risky outcome over a certain loss. Now, a manifestation of this is, for example, in lottery revenues right now. A lot of people have lost a lot of money in the past year and a half, and it turns out that lottery revenues for states across the country are soaring as a result. In short, people are willing to be more risky. That is, they're risk-seeking at this point in time, hoping that potentially a bet on a lottery ticket will pay off, even though in the past, when they had greater wealth, that would not have been an option that would have attracted them. So keep this in mind when you're dealing with stock market gains and losses. Note that really what this boils down to is the fact that when you have gains, you often will want to sell positions early, and when you have losses, you'll often be more risk-seeking and be more willing to let those positions ride. And of course, this is absolutely contrary to what you should be doing. That is, when you have losses, it's often good to cut them early, and when you have gains, it's often best to stick with them. So if you'd like to learn more about this or any of the strategies we cover at MarketTamer.com, please don't hesitate to jump into classes, and we'll look forward to discussing them with you there. All the best. Take good care.